morning, what? I is uh, parang good morning again. But the, there's an audio problem. I think. Oh no problem. No problem. There was just a static. I think. No, it, I don't know. It, it, or it, maybe it, it's on my end. It's your it's your thing. I think. Anyway, it's, welcome. It, it's your mic. There's something wrong with it. <laughs> we'll just fix it in post. I I wouldn't fix it in post. <laughs> How would you fix it in post? I anyway? do not know. Anyway, uh, uh, good. It's not morning. Good day. Good day to everybody. Welcome to the Subscope Podcast, the show about Pokemon Go, where we talk about news, speculate ideas, and uh, some more stuff. I am your host, Malcolm Judd, along with my co-host, Isma. Yes, and please like our video and subscribe to our channel, The Sylph. Comment down below on how can how can how we can improve our content. Yeah, what's up, man? How have you been doing? I'm fine. I've not been playing a lot. Mm-hmm. <laughs> You've even reminded me to open the gift yesterday. Yep. Um, I'm kind of busy in work, but I'll I'll go back around when community day comes again. Mm-hmm. Um. And also when Raiko comes in. Mm-hmm. Speaking of community day, what I have been doing the past week is uh, hunt- hunting for uh, good IV uh, EVs. Do I have good IV EVs? I don't know. I, mean, I, I have a 96. That's the, that's the highest I found so far. I'm using uh, the field research tasks. Oh, the so field research tasks. if you have those have uh, uh, evolve, fire, water, and electric type, I think. I think I've only gotten a, a at most an 89% EV with 15 attack. I think that's the mo- I think I don't remember getting a 90% plus EV because if I have gotten one I would I I would remember that because I have gotten a lot of EV research quests lately the past few days but I I don't have any significant memory regarding having a 90%. So I think I don't have any. I think that uh my what I do is if your EV is uh, CP 400 and up. It's a pretty good EV. I don't have a CP 400. Yeah, up. then all of I those suck I, then. <laughs> I think I, my highest is just 397, 398, I think. So anyway, it's not. yeah, let's, let's uh, get into the news. And before we do that, let's just wait for a few seconds. <laughs> I'm While still you're l- I'm still with your new laptop. Huh? Yeah, with <laughs> Definitely louder too. It's definitely louder, but they wouldn't hear that because they're mm-hmm. your world. True, wouldn't. true. So anyway, if it if you heard a good audio, it's not my laptop. It's just added uh, in post. Yes, that's the only thing I do in post. <laughs> Besides cutting all of the ums mm-hmm. and the hums. And yep, yep. I did notice that when that when you do that. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, number one news for this week: Lucky Pokemon are live. What do you think, man? Because I, I kind of don't care. <laughs> um, Lucky Pokemon are good for for just saving Stardust because yeah. Stardust is people are slowly. raving about it. Like, yeah, I want Lucky Pokemon. I want it now. But there's not much difference. You're just gonna get discount if it had a better attack. It maybe it had a attack bonus. Maybe I'll. I'd be hunting for lucky Pokemon, but so far I'm not. Uh, I'm not actively looking for luck- lucky Pokemon. For me, the the completionist in me, I want to collect all the lucky Pokemon you, available because whoa, because there is a significant difference when you catch a lucky Pokemon in the Pokedex itself because yeah, it's, yeah, yeah, it has it's, an it's entry. A, yeah. Yes, it has an odd sparkle. Mm-hmm. So I would like to have my full Pokedex have that effect. So. Yeah, it would sure. be a great. It would be a great um, completionist thing to do. Yes, if you you are the type of completionist like me, but don't want the low CP Pokemon or all the level one Pokemon collection. This is kind. This is a bit easy easier to collect because all you need is a an old Pokemon and an old Pokemon on the on your end, then the specific Pokemon you want on their end, and just look for the lowest. Pokemon, the base form Pokemon, so you can collect all the forms. That's what I did when I caught the lucky Quagsire. Oh, I, you got a lucky Quagsire? 
Yes, I traded cool. an I traded an old whooper from my girlfriend's account. Mm-hmm. I traded it for another whooper so she wouldn't notice that I traded the whooper. Holy face, <laughs> this is the first mention of the girlfriend! No, that is the second. Oh, you really? Didn't re- you didn't <laughs> I recognize don't remember. the last... I don't you remember. <laughs> you didn't recognize the last one when I mentioned it on the last episode and I was like bummed out and disappointed oh, because really? you didn't rave about I it. I did not <laughs> notice it. Holy face. Watch this... You don't watch the first. You don't watch episodes after you post. Yeah, it, I do not. Anyway, I I just watch it just to check out if my voice. If you're is not weird. getting what we're uh, talking about, it's because uh, uh, when we're uh, talking by ourselves, uh, Isma always always mentions his girlfriend incessantly and uh, involuntarily. <laughs> yeah, and uh, surprisingly, I haven't mentioned her at, her until at all. Until the last episode, mm, I, I, which I did not if notice. Re- if you remember, I told the story about the back massage. I told you that I was with my girlfriend. That oh, time. Sorry. oh, so, yeah, I did not. Oh man, I was maybe it's because I was too hyped because we were back that last time. Yeah, or maybe yeah. you just don't care. Anyway, no, <laughs> no, I did not. I did not. I failed to uh, remember. To uh, take notice of it. Anyway, back to Lucky Pokemon. Yeah, so Lucky Pokemon they have a lower Stardust cost. Uh, it could possibly have high IVs, uh, but the IV floor is not yet determined. Um, right now they have said that it is the same as Reed and Egg. Hatches. I don't think so because in Reddit. Uh, yeah, but ignore the first few hours that that have posted about Lucky Pokemon because mm. as reported Niantic has not really set the floor during the first few hours oh, of the Lucky Pokemon. I so see. recently they said they said I have not confirmed it yet, but they said that the floor is the same as the raid and egg hatches. Mm. We still we still need a lot of confirmation because on the on the few times I see the lucky Pokemon. It's always on the low sixties and I uh, high sixties and low seventies. I've never seen much around the eighties and nineties, but maybe that's determined by the friendship level because we are not really around the ultra or best friend levels. I think re- just recently the ultra friends have have been going around on some people. So once the once people reach the best friend level I think that is the only time we can see for sure what is the true floor regarding this. True, true. Uh, this actually the only reason I'm interested in this is because if you trade a Pokemon, it might become lucky and might it might it might have a uh, good IVs. Yes. So I- I'm actually uh, preparing to uh, trade a Pokemon that I want to be lucky and uh, hoping to have high IVs like Rayquaza. Mewtwo. Yeah, stuff like that. Yeah, because the best thing about the lucky Pokemon is that because of the decreased Stardust, you are you are able to spend just less. So, because of that, you would have less worry in powering up legendary Pokemon especially. Mm-hmm. Because true, true. The, can, because the candy costs are not um, no, reduced, I think, I think. Oh, yeah, because uh, people would probably not care because we have rare candy. Yeah, but because of the legendary Pokemon, um, we really use rare candy for that, which is mm-hmm. a limited resource, unlike the other candies, which are unlike um, PG candies, for example, you can just catch one, or matchup mm-hmm. candies, which are common true, true, recently true. because it's cloudy weather. Yep. Um, the Frost. legendary legendary Pokemon usually are just available during their time and during the time that they are released as research. Mm-hmm. So. It's a bit hard to find their candies in a way because if you have rare candies, then congratulations, you have a lot, you have tons of legend, you have tons of potential legendary Pokemon candies. But for the majority of people who don't really raid much or who don't really have the luxury of being able to put rare candies on most of their Pokemon. Um, I think it would uh, the lower Stardust cost would entice them to power it up even with the same amounts of candy cost. Mm-hmm. And uh, with Lucky Pokemon, uh, the chance to get uh, Lucky Pokemon is higher if the Pokemon spent more time in your storage. Yes. So do you have any uh, 
2016 Pokemon lying around? I have lots, but I don't have any base form except for Dratini because I've kept all of my 15 attack mm, Dratini nice. until now. I didn't. I don't. I don't have much uh, 26, 2016 Pokemon. It has been grinded to candy. It's long been grinded to candy. If I do, if I do wanted to trade one, my only Dratinis that are available are around 84-87 percent IVs. But it, IVs doesn't matter because it will be rerolled after. So mm-hmm. I think it would be a good trading chip for me. For yeah. if they want a good IV, I, if they want a lucky Dratini, and and in exchange for a regional Pokemon, I don't still don't have. Mm-hmm. Anyway, uh, um, the, there are also reports that there are only 10 lucky Pokemon. You can only get a maximum of 10 lucky Pokemon per day, but this is not yet confirmed. Mm-hmm. A lot of this has not been confirmed. I, I'm actually uh, waiting for either the Silk Road or uh, Pokemon Go Hub's research to, to come through before I do anything. And speaking of those two, if you want to help on the research ta- research on regarding on the data regarding lucky pokemon you can join either go hubs or the self roads research team you can join either of them both of them are a great research team but mm-hmm. if you ca- if you would only choose one choose go go hub because you're <laughs> biased you, you bit- work you you work at go hub it's not it's yes not, it, yeah. i would say i would say go hub right now mm-hmm. but ask me <laughs> ask me after the podcast so, but, no, but they have they both have their merits go hub if you live in Europe, most of the mods in GoHub are European. So, oh. if you're a European viewer, which probably you are not, you're probably in the Philippines. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but if you do, if you do want to join either one, either one is fine. I think you can just nitpick one of one two regarding the two. Um, but both of them are great. Both of them have merit regarding their research. So join either one. Yeah, so if just, you want, if just, you really want just to help, contri- contribute to the research, and so we can finally know how we can get these uh, lucky pokemon yeah um speaking of lucky yep we just right now just, just today just today just today just earlier today niantic has announced uh august's research breakthrough and it's gonna be raiko raiko yes does he have any uh special abilities like uh snorlax like a uh, different i moveset as far as i've read because during the time that I read about this, I was going here and I was not reading on Raiko because I was reading on the I don't army think so. topic. No, there's n- there's, there's nothing special. Mm, but it's a chance for people for people who has not uh, who does not have a uh, good Raiko or does not have a uh, Raiko at all. Yes, Raiko is currently the best electric type attacker, mm-hmm. even though. He he is the s- he has the second highest attack. Yep. Because of his move set, which is Thunder Shock and Wild, Wild Charge, Charge, it will overpower Zapdos, mm-hmm. and at the same time, it is more bulkier than Zapdos. And so it's overall a better version of Zapdos yes. itself, and it's much better looking. It's yeah. much better looking, and also because of the type of moves it has, which is Thunder Shock mm-hmm. and Wild Charge. It, you can easily dodge moves with those moves because yeah. Wild Charge is only a two charge, two bar charge move that 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 has no that has a small cooldown I think. Yeah. So it's you a can small ins- cooldown. Yeah. You can you can insert it in between the fast moves of the raid boss or the gym defender. So you mm-hmm. can easily use it. Yeah. A, a lot of people actually use it as a uh, gym attacker. Yes. Raiko, because he's very fast in the. Pa- Packs a punch. Packs a punch and also is a bit is a bit bulky. It no, it's not necessarily the most powerful attacker you'll get out there, but it is good enough to warrant a, as a warrant a uh, use in your team. Even if you're not using, if you're not really for looking for an electric type, do look for Raiko because it's one of the best attackers out there. Mm-hmm. I use it as a generalist mostly. Mm-hmm. I have two Raikos that are fifteen attack. Mm-hmm. I also have a 98% Raikou, which Ooh. has 14 attack, which Ooh. I don't really use. Sucks. Sucks. I don't really use. I hope, hopefully, I'll find a better Raikou during mm-hmm. this time. Maybe. Do you have a good Raikou? No, I, I I only have a 96. So I'm hoping to have something better than that. Maybe a perfect. Why not? Why not? Why not? It's, yeah. a, good, it's a good chance to get one right now. Mm-hmm. And if, if you're like me who really 
who is really desperate for Raiko candy because there was a time that I need to power up those two to level 35. Mm -hmm. um, this is also a good chance to pine up that beast. <laughs> yep. I'm, I'm going to say bitch, but I'm going to say pine up that bitch. <laughs> it's, it's better to say be beast. So yeah. we don't get demonetized, but we don't mm -hmm. really have an uh, offer to be monetized. So yet. I can say bitch all Mon I want. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, yeah, that's true. That's true. That's true. Yes, that's true. We aren't monetized. Oh, sorry. No, not yet, man. Not uh, yet. Not yet. Um, <laughs> anyway, what what else happened this week? Uh, um, also, Raiko regarding the Raiko. If you want in full depth. Um, full depth analysis on how good Raiko in Pokemon Go is. You can check GoHub's article. Oh, boo. Obligatory GoHub. No, it, it's not uh, obligatory. It's, 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 it's not obligatory because of <laughs> GoHub. It's obligatory because I wrote it. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, okay. If it's not written by me, it's probably not going to get plugged here. Okay, um, okay, fine. I'll give you the that. The Raiko battle decks in GoHub. It is written by the most talented writer in GoHub's mm -hmm. history. Just kidding. <laughs> it was written by me. Hopefully, I you read the GoHub article. The link is, uh, the the link is down below. I would add it because hope because you wouldn't. I would, add I be would not it. add it. I would uh, upload it. I would edit it, upload it, and uh, not care after it. So if you just <laughs> watched it. Uh, as soon as you clicked it, just refresh and you'll see the the Raiko link. Yep. Uh, let's see. Oh, another thing that happened uh, la this week. Did they have oh, yeah, this week. Yeah, we got an uh, update and uh, it had uh, a bunch of a bunch of uh, changes, new features that uh, people actually wanted. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It, it's um, like uh, the the new sorting options on the friends list. Um, mixed bag for me uh, because I mean you can't, you can't really scroll down yeah, further it's, like. It's, but that's what people actually want. It's uh, with no loading, you can scroll down yes. without it loading. That's what I want, but they yep. didn't get it. But uh, the sorting option you, is a you, good. You idea. can nickname your uh, friends, so that's nice because I use it a lot. I use it because uh, I have uh, friends that are in different countries and. Uh, I can easily uh, see which country is they're from. My my take on that is I use it to group friends. I right now my friends are grouped as first one are the real life friends. I mm -hmm. the the ones I really consider as friends. Yeah, what do you like, what, what do you put? Um that I IRL. put zero I put the number first so it would be priority oh, first. Oh yeah, okay, okay. Zero space IRL friends. Oh. Um then I the should copy that. The number then the next one group one is the Morato Raiders mm. because I prioritize the the Raiders I go with mm -hmm, exactly. Morato Raiders then the number two is USD Raiders then number three is the go hub people no no the Discord peep, the Discord admins oh. the, so I can uh, so I can have leverage with them too. just kidding <laughs> um, <laughs> the number four is the writers of Go Hub number five is the admins of Go Hub. Mm -hmm. Number six is just the Discord people, and number seven is others. Oh, uh, I see. So, no, where I, do I go into that group? Um, You're at number seven. Holy fish! <laughs> no, just kidding. You're Come at, on, man. You're at, you're at zero, Come on. I think. <laughs> you're at zero, I think. You're, I put you in zero IRL friends as parentheses, not really. Oh, <laughs> man. Just kidding. It, it was good, and I'm like, oh, man. And it was good again. It was good. It was, oh, uh. Anyway, uh, any, anything else? Uh, um, I like this one. Pressing your avatar will not go to your friend list anymore because during oh. the time of during the time of the initial release of the friend system, because you have a notification regarding your the gifts you have entered, uh, the gifts you have received, and of course you wouldn't be able to open all the gifts. Yeah, you yeah. You would have remaining gifts left in your friends list. Because of the way it is programmed, when you press the avatar, you would go to the friends list because you would have no, you have still have uh, gifts to ha you have to open. Because of that, Niantic changed it in that way. When you press the avatar, you would now get to the avatar, your avatar first before mm -hmm. the friends list. So that's a good, that's a good, up, that's a good update they have added. So I I I really like that and mo surprisingly. I heard there are some people that like that update as well. 
Oh, that changed. Idea. This thing too, this has bothered us for such such a long time now. The hover glitch is gone. You know what? You know how uh, Pokemon gets uh, cut in half when you evolve it. Big Pokemon when you, it gets cut in half when you evolve or uh, evolve or you hatch it like Wailmer or uh, Dragonite. It usually gets cut in half for oh, some reason. Oh, that's the hover glitch? Yeah, that's the hover glitch. I thought the hover glitch is when you encounter a Pokemon, you are hovering up before, and then you go down Oh, maybe quickly. it's both. But I know it, that what I'm talking about is... It, it's got, gone as well. It, it, it's gone as well, yeah. Either it's his or mine, which is when you hover up before you go down to the encounter, which means you sometimes miss the shiny animation oh wait no i still have that that w- the glitch you're saying oh oh so that's not fixed so not the gone. hover glitch is so yours. i'm right okay you're wrong okay suck it <laughs> sorry for those who are using earphones right now <laughs> anyway the hover glitch that one yep. i don't have that bug in me in my in me in me <laughs> i don't have that bug it's in not my be in you, man. device it's not, yeah it's, it's full good, of worms <laughs> Um, I have don't have that bug in my device, but I do have that bug in my other device, my old phone, which is the mm-hmm. J7 Prime. So I think it is just plaguing, um, sort of old phones. Yeah, Niantic, uh, please fix this. Yes, uh, stop messing things up and making new bugs. But they can, they can. I mean, avoid that. That's oh, just uh, the pro- I, That's just the way. It's gonna be a long conversation, software but bug. So, so let's just leave it at that. Um, uh, let's leave it to the maybe data they, mine. Maybe they are, maybe they just um, um, accidentally accidentally set the wrong parameters on something. They should a lot of they the, should uh, backtrack with they that. They actually uh, a lot of developers are uh, playing Pokemon Go and they're uh, commenting on how uh, Niantic does these updates and how. A lot of bugs don't get fixed, and uh, more bugs show up, and uh, it takes more time to fix them, etc., ac- etc., et blah, blah, I blah. I actually have a, an answer f- on why it is, and the short answer is because of the APK mines, but you know why? Why? Do you want me to <laughs> explain it? Because just, just, it's quickly, just, a, just, quick, give me quick. just a quick explanation, because yeah. of how... Silk Road and GoHub and other sites data mine the app. It's very hard for Niantic to test the features they have in the production in the production server, which is the client on the our phone itself. That's the production server. Mm-hmm. Um, because they can't test it that well on the production server, and the testing server is not really that accurate compared to the production server. That's why on the software and they need to copy continuously copy the production server to the test server so they would have an accurate testing of the of the features mm. um because it's still not a production server just like murphy's law anything that can go wrong will go wrong so okay, that's I that's guess. that's one take on why it's a bit hard for niantic to test the new features that's why I think the friend feature was sort of a failure regarding its the features itself because if you check the APK mines we there is no mention of the friend yeah, it, it came, feature it, it was a surprise for all of us yes yeah? because because it was a surprise for us they clearly they haven't tested it on their end of the production end it's hard to make it better because I understand the antics and that that they can't do a better job because of APK mine. So I think the best course of action for that is for Niantic to just open press junk, give press junkets to the various media sources. That way we don't need to have data mines. True. So we can prepare for the new features that are being added. There's no need to data mine now to check what are the up, up and coming features. We'll have a better preparation on what to present to the people and at the same time because we don't need to do the apk man so they can they can just put the new the up and coming features on the apk and no one would check it no major news site would check it only mm. the ones who really like it and 
maybe we can fa- if Niantic gave us press junkets, we, we would entice us to really um um what's the term? Don't we we would entice us to not encourage people to do APK mines so we can have a surprise because re- really APK mines are really um a we- really a violation of a of the terms of service. True, true, but so that's tons, <laughs> tons just, of it are violating. We're before I go, lot, we we are doing a lot of uh, violating of terms. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah, I, be, but it's not really because we are we are violating the terms of service. It does not mean that we are totally making the game unfair. Hmm. But. It's a topic for another day. It's a very hard topic to go into. Yep. We need a lot of data for that. We need a lot of information for that to put a a more unbiased and justified opinion regarding that. So we'll just put it on that for now. All um, right. Uh, let's just speaking uh, of data mine. <laughs> <laughs> speaking of data mine, we have they have found a silver pineapple sprite. We'll just be uh, we'll just be ignorant with the, all the things we've said about that. Terms of service yep. violation. Yeah. And uh, but, uh, here's some data mine for <laughs> here's you. Here's some data mine for you. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, the silver pineapple sprite has been seen in the code. I I has been seen in the APK. Um, only the sprite, only a silver pineapple sprite. No code has been mentioned regarding that. Just the sprite. So we'll be getting into some deep and powerful speculation. Now, what could be the uh, the purpose? What could be the effect of this silver pineapple berry? I've suggested three during the out in the outline. Maybe you have a new idea in mind. No, no, no. It's pretty good. Just um, the fir- the first I've thought about is triple candy. Oh, not just double. Cool. Triple yeah. candy because pineapple is already double candy. But yeah, yeah, that's, that's true. And um. Then, it would be better if it would be quadruple, quadruple candy. Yeah, because I put triple and quadruple because it's either double plus one or double times two, which is quadruple. Hopefully so it's, it's a I'd, quadruple one. Quadruple or triple candy, anything can happen. But I own, I have already I've thought of another one. Mm-hmm. It was just around before I slept, I thought of another one, so I just added it in. Double candy, but with an increased catch rate. Oh, so it's like a uh, super berry. Yeah, it's like yeah, a ras and pineapple. If you're going to do a uh, mashup of raspberry and the uh, pineapple berry, why not just uh, introduce a new berry instead of uh, making it is a, a pineapple new... making up a, a pineapple berry color silver? Because it's still a pineapple candy, I think. Maybe you're right that the, it should be a new candy because it's mm, both a ras true. and so Pineapple. why not just make a uh, super berry or like I actually thought of something. that as well. Um, that also has the effect of nana berry. Mm. But the, the, yeah, the, that would be amazing. Yeah, it would be called the super the enigma berry. berry. Why is it? S- because the enigma berry is the mystery berry that was on Gentry uh. that is rumored to be on the Mirage Island. If oh. you if you know me, if you are a Pokemon fan since Gentry, there was a feature in Gentry which is the Mirage Island which was the inspiration of the Mirage Island in Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire where in which you you search for islands but in Gentry it was a mystery island that only comes out at a small chance yeah I think I know reg- about this regard if you are if you have the right Pokemon in the front of your inside your party you can activate the Mirage Island and in the Mirage Island, you can that's the only way you can find wild. Why not? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know about this one. And in the island, there is only one berry tree, which is the Enigma berry mm-hmm. tree. Um, the Enigma berry can do that purpose. Um, nana in the games, it's it's as a different it has a different effect because most of these berries have a different effect on the true, true. main series games. But the Enigma berry that I'm thinking of in the in this speculation is 
It has the effect of nana, pineapple, yeah, like and a, raspberry. I, I, I'm just gonna call it the super berry. Yes, the super yeah, berry. Yeah, uh, if we're going to get it, should we uh, get it from? Uh, how do we get it? Like from Pokestops? I think it could also be a raid reward because one of the question is should it also should it also be a raid reward because golden raspberry for as good it it is, it's still not it's still not the the most loved berry because because um but people who purpose. because people who raid a lot get tons of it yes yes i do have tons of it um but it can uh, fully restore motivation so could this super berry do the same thing yes that's the thing because silver pineapp is like a go is it's like a golden raspberry it's just a level up of the pre- of the previous berry so Oh, wait, 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 wait. Why is it silver? Why not golden pineapple? Because pineapple is yellow. <laughs> Still, man. <laughs> because pineapple is already yellow. So, golden pineapple. What's the difference? It's like... Is it, sorry. <laughs> it's just like Zapdos all over again. I can't <laughs> determine which is pineapple, which is golden pineapple. It sparkles. <laughs> it sparkles. Wow. <laughs> so, that's the thing. Maybe they change it to silver... Um, what's the thing? Pineapple berry just to differentiate it from the regular pineapple berry, and we'd ha- we won't have any um Zapdos dilemma all over again. Mm-hmm. Anyway, uh, besides that, another um, thing that's found in the data mine is that Celebi is now ready for release. Niantic only needs to flip the switch. Yes, Celebi is already prepared. Um, the animations yeah. the movement. so uh, are you excited about Celebi yeah and ac- actually really? I have a good idea regarding on how they would Release implement oh, okay. yeah implement the global Celebi quest okay okay and go for a it, new seg- in a segment that Judd has introduced a while ago which that's is uh, hey that's, that's a, a good, good idea, idea. Does, are, it's, is, it, is it also sta- going static on your yeah. end Okay, oh, so you should the microphone. Wor- wor- hold it like this. Hello? Okay, I would, I would just um, stab- yep. stabilize this one. Um, yeah, that's... Uh, one more time. Hey, hey that's, that's a, a good, good idea. idea. I'll see it's much better. Anyway, uh, yeah, the global Celebi quest. How would Niantic implement this? Yes, because the big question regarding that is should players that have already attended GoFest get the global Celebi quest? No. For me, yes. No. For why, me. Why have two? We only have one Mew. Yes, be, they could also, they could get the Celebi quest. But the real question is, if they do get the Celebi quest, should they get the second Celebi? That's that's a no for me. Yeah, they okay, should get the Celebi quest. Just but the quest. They, just get the, the quest, rewards. Just rewards, including the candies, but yep. not the second Celebi itself because yeah sure the, get the candies why the not the extra Celebi candies are just a reward for just attending GoFest mm. you, you can't do anything with it anyway so why, why yeah. get a uh, second Celebi yeah and as you I've said you can trade it as I've said they'll still get the rewards the, all the rewards but it would be a different quest different from the GoFest Go Quest. quest because who can find an unknown during <laughs> during the find ten unknown find Holy ten unknown wow fish. where would I f- I j- I only found two in <laughs> in the whole time uh, the whole game and there's only four during this month I think <laughs> so how the heck would we find ten mm-hmm. so I thought of a way to make it more interesting for people who yeah, have I already think, gotten yeah. the Celebi because getting candies for Celebi, sure. I, I can, will. I can do that. He, but here's the idea: um, people who already who have already gotten the special research in GoFest would receive a separate special research from those who haven't gotten the the. Sp- the celeb- the special oh. research in GoFest. They would get a separate Why? research, but the rewards are still the same Why get for the different? for the global players because the the their their separate research will revolve around helping the Celebi who have caught in GoFest in a bunch of tasks. Maybe the Celebi you have caught is in trouble mm, and you need I you see. need itself. Yeah, that- 
Hey, that's a good idea. Yeah. Yeah. The, 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 it would be it would have a different story, but you would still have the same re, same rewards and the same tasks as the normal Selby quest. Yeah, sure, sure, sure. So it would engage not only the those who haven't gotten the Celebi quest in GoFest, it would also entice the the players who do have a Celebi to still do the special research. Yeah, that, that, that is a good idea, but unfortunately, Niantic would, pro- would probably not do it. Probably, <laughs> Niantic could probably, probably not. not do it, but hey, at hey, least this idea that's is good, still that's here. That's a good idea, yeah. 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 And... Dog Nian. Okay. Um, dr- uh, blah, blah, blah. And in the... In... I think that's the news. Oh, 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 oh. Um, uh, uh, yeah, and uh, just a bit of uh, tidbits, um, small news regarding the Pokemon Go itself. Um, EX raids are back on weekends, so if you're the play type of player who likes to play on weekends, or then can only uh, raid a Mewtwo on weekends. Yes, um, this is your time to get EX raids. Yes, it, it would probably be on weekends for at least. Four to six weeks, weeks I think. Yeah, because I think it so. Usually have three. It stays three weeks on one day or two weeks on one day. I, I mm-hmm. don't know. It's just four. It's four to six weeks, I think. Um, we would we would tell you guys when it goes back to Monday. Mm-hmm. Did you get any X ray pass? Yes, I did in uh, Nino Yakino. Yeah, I think I, I think I have the same thing. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, nice. Yes. We Woo! Would go there. We didn't. We did the sound didn't. Clap. Uh. Uh, 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 it sucks. Anyway, anyway um, <laughs> Stardust can be now can now be received in gifts, and you can get EXP when sending gifts. Yes, which is good. G- How many XP? I don't know. Two hundred. Um, two hundred. Um, I think so. Um, lastly, the the story regarding the band spoofing in streamer it was false. I've Aww. checked. I've checked the logs in the chat. I have not found any. Maybe I just misread. So if you have read the story, that is false. I'm sorry for that. I'm I've clear I've cleared it right now because mm-hmm. maybe now people... you have to do ten jumping jacks in camera. What? For I mean, being we ne- wrong. We never <laughs> talked about. We never <laughs> talked about that. Anyway, anyway main in... topic time. I'm actually looking forward for this one because uh, yeah, I need to know about this. Yeah. EV community day. It's coming. It's almost here. When is it coming? Uh, let me see. Bu, 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 bu. Two weeks. Two weeks before uh, the uh, next community day arrives. We should talk about this. Because uh, a lot of things could be happening. We could speculate a lot, a bunch on a bunch of stuff. We should prioritize which, which EVs are supposed to be important which evs are uh, we should prioritize yeah so yeah let's do this uh for we start f- before we start we should um speculate on what sh- what yeah. what special move will ev or her or his evolution yeah would get what and would the uh evolution would would have a uh, a special Move. move for yes. that evolution. Yes, because we've talked about this earlier. Um, we have differing opinions regarding how the special move will be implemented. Your idea is that I forgot. Uh, your idea is that <laughs> each evolutions would have a separate. Uh, each evolution would have a separate move. move. Yeah, yeah, like. Uh, like uh, for example, Surf for Vaporeon. Vaporeon would have a water type move. Yes, that exactly. Uh, um, uh, Jolteon would have a, an electric move, etc., etc. Yes, for me, I think Eevee would get the special move. Be- but Just like, Eevee. How yes. would that? What's the yes. point of Eevee? Because. It would um, be just like the Pikachu surf again. What's the point of the surfing Pikachu? Yes, because if you have read the earlier article in GoHub, which is a good read. Another I'm not, I'm not plug. You, you fish. I'm not plugging it because it's <laughs> GoHub. I'm plugging it because it's really a good article regarding the fear of missing out. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's actually, that's actually a good one. I actually read it. Yeah, the I I actually love that article. I love that article. Um, Implementing Eevee... With a special move, would 
solve that problem of fear of missing out because you're not really missing missing out on a meta meta wise regard on EV. You'll just get a higher IV EVs um, with a special EV with a special move, much like Pikachu yeah, but, has yeah, with Surf. But that's what we do not want. That the uh, EV would have a special move that we 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 will probably won't use. Then, so this is why I'm t- telling you that Niantic should have a uh, special move for each kind of evolution. And the problem with that is that in most of these Pokemon, they can't really learn much more more because oh, yeah. um so. Vaporeon. Let's let's move into the. Which po what which let's go into your idea of okay. of which what move would Eevee learn for each of which I think you said you've prepared for that I think I did not I did not you I said you so you I told me not. I should prepare I thought you you already have prepared <laughs> no <because> I did not <laughs> if you look at Vaporeon I think the best move Vaporeon can learn during the event is Waterfall which is a better fast move. Defensive wise, which would which would be better because Vaporeon is a good defensive Pokemon. Yeah, why not that? Um, Jolteon, I think he, Jolt, Jolteon can't learn Wild Charge, so that's out of the yeah. table. Um, maybe this time in Community Day you can get a Wild Charge, Jolteon. No, why he not? can't learn Wild Charge. Why not? Because he can't learn Wild Charge in the why games. Why not? I don't know for why Game Freak didn't. Why not? Why not? It's just a community. It's a community day. Yeah, thing. but still, Niantic should should really should still um ins- be inspired by the main series game. That's why they removed Rock. That's why they removed Dragon Breath Gyarados. If, so for example, probably we will probably just get an Eevee with a special move. And yes, we'll Jolteon. probably not evo- evolve it because uh, it's. But uh, let's that we, special move will be gone when we evolve it. But maybe you're right. Let's say you are right in wa- in water in water. I'm sorry. Um, in each move, each each evolution has a move. Um, Jolteon would probably learn Zap Cannon, which is a better char- charge move sure. compared to all of the remaining charge moves. Flareon, Fire Fang, mm-hmm. Fire Fang. I think if. If it only it already has the 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 good move the, yes. the good fire move sets which is fire spin over over uh, overheat yeah and maybe blast burn espion as well maybe extra sensory for no i think extra sense you can learn extra sensory thing i'm not sure i don't um, know umbreon I, meh i don't even know i don't to think talk about Niantic, now that we're talking about it i don't think Niantic would do this now it's so it's, it's, uh, it's it's you it's me, me now. yeah i i know i agree with you but it's me wishful thinking it's, uh i wish that niantic would do something better than just giving ev a special move that we cannot use like pikachu with surf yeah it's more of a novelty more of a collection uh, piece um not everything is about the meta jud oh come on man <laughs> come on anyway yeah. before we um, the next thing we should talk about is B- EV also has new evolutions in the yeah. future, which is Glaceon and Leaf- Leafeon on yeah. the G- on Gen Four and Sylveon on Gen Seven. So we should talk about the ranking and the priority list of each evolutions from the first to the last. Mm-hmm. So we sh- this is we the should list. La- last this first. Is the definitive list. This is the EVs that you should prioritize. On community day, you should think about this because these are the most meta relevant, powerful EVs, and that uh, you should look out for when evolving this. Uh, Put an EV. italics on meta relevant. Mm-hmm. <laughs> anyway, number uh, we're gonna go. We're, we're gonna go bottom first. So. Yeah, we're gonna go bottom first, and we're gonna use all of the EV lucians. So even the ones that are unreleased yet. Yes. So on the bottom there. On the bottom, number eight is obviously Umbreon. Really, Umbreon. Um, Umbreon is a great defender, but that's all. Really, uh, all it that sucks. It, yes, because it but has. Remember, guys, Umbreon has probably the coolest looking shiny evolution out there. Yeah, uh, the the black with the uh, r- 
uh, neon blue rings. Mm-mm-mm. Now that that's out of the way, mm-hmm. um, Umbrian is is definitely worse, but all of them, all of the remaining are a bit better and are all usable. So Umbrian is the only one that's not usable. So that really starting sucks. starting number seven, you can still use number seven. Um, actually, I'm not really prepared regarding this list, but I think the number seven would be. I have prepared a a list here. Um, because. I think the number seven would be Sylveon. Sylveon. So Sylveon is the uh, fairy type of Eevee, yes? Yes, because on the on Pokemon Go right now, there is no fairy fast move. So besides that and Sylveon's subpar stats, it's m- comparable to Vaporeon but defense rather than HP. Mm-hmm. Um. Glaceon would have a hard time in the meta right now that is really lacking on fairy moves. So, mm-hmm. Sylveon would be on the bottom of the list. Sylveon would also be on, should be on number 8, but because it has a decent attack, which is comparable to Vap- Vaporeon and then its defenses, it would be a much like a Hariyama type of Pokemon, which has a good defense, but it's not really lacking on the attack. So, Sylveon still gets a pass on that. Next um, up, number six. Number six is, I think it would be Leafeon. Because Leafeon. Leafeon sadly has a bad attack. Oh, I, I know, a bad attacking, sa- attacking set because it the only grass type fast move it can learn is Razor Leaf, which is not really a... It's just an okay fast move regarding... Mm-hmm. And also, grass types are not really that known as an attacker so it would be it would be sad that Leafeon would not be that good compared to other evolutions but on its own it's a you can compare it to Jolteon but it ha- it is more bulkier so because Jolteon has a better attacking type which is an electric type which is a good attacking type Leafeon would still be a forgettable Pokemon but it's still use- usable um, it, it's also sad that it would release on Gen 4, which is, which would release Roserade and Tangrowth as well, which are good. Yeah, very great good. Grass attackers. So, mm-hmm. Leafeon, Leafeon would probably be third on the grass types list. Mm-hmm. And it's a good uh, grass, good grass type attacker if you don't have any grass type attacker. You want a cute grass type attacker. Yep, so that's number six. Number five would be... Number five would be Glaceon. Be- Number five, I think the number five, five, four, three are a bit um, reversible because mm-hmm. five, um, four, three. Yes, because Flareon, Espeon, and Glaceon all have their merits. Flareon, Flareon Espeon, Flare- Glaceon. Yes, Flareon boasts a very good fire type moveset. It's the best fire type moveset, Fire Spin Overheat. Mm-hmm. It also has the best attack among them, which is. One thirty. On I'm t- I'm looking at the main series stat. So, if you compute it to CP, it would yield a better attack stat compared to them. Um, but because it's a fire type, it would definitely be overshadowed by the other fire type attackers, which is Entei and Moltres. So, but it's pretty good. It's pretty good. Yeah, it's pretty it's, good. It's pretty good. It's it's a good fire type attacker. If you don't have any legendary fire type attacker, you should go for that. And because there is still no Magmortar, and there is no guarantee that Magmortar would also have a Fire Spin Overheat moveset, so Flareon is the best non-legendary Fire type attacker. I think, I think I was wrong. I think I would put it in number three. So back to four and five. I just realized that, that it would be better. No, I I just realized the rankings. Number five would be Glaceon. Glaceon. Like because I, said, ha, I was right. Because Glaceon has a good. Attack, attack, and a passable defense. I've said it to you earlier that I think Glaceon is a bulkier version of Espeon. Mm-hmm. It has a good attack, good defenses as well. The only problem is that much like Leafeon, Glaceon will be introduced in a generation that would also introduce better ice, ice type attackers, which like is Weavile, Weavile and Mamoswine. Mamoswine would be the bulky. Best. Bulky attacker with a good bulky attacker. Um, Weavile would be the glass cannon, 
and Glaceon would be the evolution <laughs> attacker. The e- evolution, the okay, the okay attacker. Yeah, it would be a good um, Pokemon if you really don't have any ice types in your area and you only have EV. Mm-hmm. It's a good ice type attacker. So, which puts us in number four, which would be Espeon. 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 The only thing that's holding back Espeon is surprisingly it. It has a lower attack than Flareon, oh. which makes it less effective by just a bit. But because psychic, ty- psychic types are also useful, and also notching it down below um, Flareon is the is the is Tyranitar itself because Tyranitar mm-hmm. is also a is a also a one of the best defenders out there. Yep, and. Flareon can at least attack Metagross, which is another great um, defender. So I think that's why Flareon should rank below Espeon. But Espeon is still good. May I, I should remind you guys that besides Gle- um, Umbreon and Sylveon, all of them are still great. Not I, not be, not just because not um, because not, you should ignore the fact that Leafeon is the number six. You should still use Leafeon. It's still great. It's only a matter of nitpicking with beside when in regards to those to all the remaining six. Um the number two, this is hard. <laughs> this is hard because So d- we only got Jolteon or Vaporeon left. This is hard because Vaporeon is a use useful attacker because water gun is a great attack and water gun hydro pump is a great combination. It's like a it's like a Thundershock wild charge of the water types, which is both a fast Char is a very fast, fast move. Fast, fast move. <laughs> a very fast charge move, which is Hydro Pump. So, it's a great um, attacker. So is Jolteon. Jolteon is the, much like Flareon, Jolteon is a, the best electric type attack, non-legendary electric type attacker. So, if you don't have Zapdos or Raikou, which is impossible because most of you already have Zapdos for for sure. True, true. Yeah. That so, I think that but, I So think which one is better though? Jolteon or Vaporeon? Who um, should we prioritize? Right now right now we should prioritize Vaporeon because you already have Zapdos recently. That's ah, the only reason. I but see. um attack attacking wise, I think Vaporeon also have a notch ahead because water type is a great move in general with regards to attack and defense. But also is electric type because electric type. Meh. But this is hard. Man. This is hard because <laughs> okay, I'll finalize it with Vaporeon because Vaporeon has a great defense, a great a, a great defense um as well um. I think that I would go with Vaporeon. Fi- so with to to time. summarize everything that we just talked about, Va- Vaporeon. We should prioritize Vaporeon. Vaporeon. Next is Jolteon. And next is Flareon. So the original three. Which is the 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 three three. hardest ones to get. Oh, yep. (laughs) So Vaporeon, Jolteon, Flareon, Flareon, Espeon, Espeon, Glaceon, uh, Glaceon, Leafeon, Leafeon, Sylveon, then Umbreon. 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 If... Sylveon gets a good fairy type attack, it would be higher than Glaceon. Uh, at least. That's good. That's if good it doesn't, it can still go below Umbreon if Umbreon gets a bet Because Umbreon has a better shiny, maybe it should go below. Yeah, but still, man. Uh, yeah. And also a good question regarding the evolutions because it's very hard to evolve Vaporeon, Jolteon, and Flareon respectively. Yeah. Because we should actually have the option on how to to evolve these uh, Pokemon. It's I, Niantic can do do Niantic, Niantic. Niantic. Niantic can do two things about on how to uh, control these evolutions. Number one is uh, we can use the name trick. Uh, over and over again, unlimited times during community day hours. Um, I have a different idea on that, but I think I I've already mentioned it. I think somewhere. Um, they should do the name trick. Mm-hmm. They should do the name trick on community day, 
but you can only do it once per day because you should find a good IV EVs during the event and you should prepare for if you want it to be a Vaporeon, a I don't Jolteon, think I'm going Vaporeon. to evolve any EVs on the first committee day, first day of committee day. I'm going to do e- my evolutions on the second day because I'm pretty sure uh, the info has just come on what to do, how to get, yeah, how to get, I would which, do that as well. Which, which EVs to get. Yeah, I think I'm just going to wait for the information first. I'm just going to focus on catching and uh, finding the good IV ones. Good IV ones, yeah. Or maybe, maybe uh, Niantic would finally introduce uh, the evolution, evolution stones. stones. Yeah, they could do it like the Squirtle Squad. They could reward an evolu- evolution item when you catch like five EVs. But and here's, then you, you'd get a uh, firestone. But here's the thing regarding items. I've all I've told this many times when speculating. Um, if you if you read the Go Hub articles, there is a person that Public always there's oh there is one person that always posts about re- regarding speculations, mm-hmm. which is Venus Toys. Mm-hmm. If you have read yeah. one of his articles. His articles are great because it is very, very well researched. Mm-hmm. That's true. And the ideas are so wild. I th- actually, it's too wild that personally I don't think it would be implemented. But it's they are great ideas. Um, the so only, why not? The, the only problem I I that the common problem I have with his speculations is that there the items would introducing new items would create an item bloat. Item bloat meaning that oh, I see. Um, there because of the item, the there are many items introduced. It would be very hard to scroll. It would be very hard to maintain the the inventory. Right now, we are very. Right now, we are have we are having tons of items. We have sunstone, metal coat, and all of the other evolution items that most of them can only be used once. We're gonna be used during Gen two evolutions. Except for sunstone, so introducing new stones is great. I love, I love it. I love the introduction of new stones. But the problem is the item bloat. But for me personally, even if you consider that con, I think that's still a great idea. That's still a good idea. Yeah. But so how about you, man? Do you have any other ideas? How would you? How do you think we could control these evolutions if not those two that we just talked about? If Niantic can do this, I think. I've ser- I think I've thought about this not only in Pokemon not on Pokemon Go but on the Pokemon main series itself because it's a bit sad that um Espeon and Umbreon evolves at day and night oh. even though there is a sunstone and a moonstone. Oh, right. So I think they should inter- if they do introduce the stones they should introduce the firestone for firestone for Eevee. Waterstone for Vaporeon, Thunderstone for Jolteon, then Sunstone for Espeon, um, mm-hmm. Moonstone for Umbreon. Then if even even if what about Glaceon? And Glaceon, the there is an Ice Stone. Oh, and then the, the Ice stone. stone is the one that evolves Vulpix and Sandshrew. And yeah. there is a Leaf Stone that's still that's for, for Gen One. Yeah. Leaf Stone for Leafion. And for Sylveon, so I it think really does make sense to have evolution things. Yes, that's that's the reason why I think I can forego the item bloat because I think yeah, really it, it, it would also be a good idea because since they're introducing Gen Four in quite a bit, yeah, I think uh, you could use those stones not just for Eevees but for uh, the other Pokemon, and also they can also do this. I've suggested during because I have a discussion with the writer that that speculated on regarding the item load. I suggested this. I didn't suggest it specific this this specifically to his article, but the general idea of the how I suggested it, I would tell to you now. Um, they should introduce a single item called the evolution box, and? which. If you open the evolution box, it contains all the evolution items you have collected. That way, oh, you should you would only get 
I get one it. slot for all evolution items. Yeah, 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 yeah. The one I suggested it, or the one the writer suggested it, it was an apricorn box because he was trying to introduce more apricorn items. Yep, yep. I, su- I suggested that in the main. So just like the main series games where uh, the bag gets compartmentalized. Yes. Yeah. That yes and no because it is a compartmentalized. But the in the main series game there there was an item called the berry. Berry some, pouch, berry pouch, right? I think, I, I think so. Yes, that's the that's the same thing because if we're wrong, tell us in the comments below. Yes, <laughs> um, they should do an evolution box that could just contains all the evolution items. It would only take up one slot in the inventory, that would free up a lot of slot, and at the same time, it would be very easy to to see which evolution items I have. It they can also in they could also easily introduce a lot of evolution items which would be introduced in Gen 4. There are lots of evolution items during Gen 4. The Magma Riser, the Electrizer, mm-hmm. Dawnstone, Duskstone. Yeah, so it makes sense. Shiny stone to have these Razor Fang, Razor Claw, Reaper Claw, um okay. Protector. Okay, we get it, we get it, man. We get it. Shut up. <laughs> 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 no, but yeah, that's a very good idea, and uh, it makes sense the for the future <laughs> of uh, Niantic's yeah. road roadmap. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Anything else, man? I think uh, um, we're the done. best shiny evolution. Best shiny evolution. Uh, I think Umbreon. I I can it. only no. think of the worst. Uh, no. Umbreon and then Eevee. I actually like White Eevee. What is the worst shiny for you? I have you? no idea. The worst shiny for me is Espeon. Espeon. Ah, there we go. It looks like an, a weird alien monster. Because <laughs> <laughs> it's green and it has two tails. Yeah, And sure. the, the biggest question is, will Gen 4 evolutions be implemented during Community Day? They should. They, they really should. should. They really But really I think should. they won't, but they should. They should. They should. That's the, that's the right answer. They should. They should. Period. Nothing else. I'm not saying they would, shut but they up. should. <laughs> no, you're wrong and shut up. <laughs> so I'm wrong that they wouldn't. So you just, so it means they wouldn't. Because I said they would. And I said they're wrong. So <laughs> they wouldn't? I think they should. No, yeah, but they should. They really should. I've discussed this the last time. I'm going to say it again. They should impl- they, they should introduce... Gen 4 with the next month's Community Day. Also, starting with EVs. Also, I forgot. Because EV, because the Community Day is on August, which is a Raikou breakthrough, mm-hmm. Vaporeon is better because there is Raikou. Raikou is during the August. So oh, yeah. yeah, there yeah. Was, I think you because of that, you could bump up Flareon and Espeon because of Raikou. Mm. You can even bump up Leafeon and Glaceon because Jolteon... Because of Raikou, Jolteon would not see much as but So, you should prioritize Vaporeon and Flareon when it comes to the tree. But, if you, the, you don't have a Jolteon, then go. Go for Jolteon as I'm well. I'm actually looking for a good Vaporeon, Jolteon, and that's it. Yeah. Because I think I have I a perfect IV. I think I have a perfect IV Jolteon. I have a perfect Flareon, so that's... That's good. That's, I, I think the nice. only one I don't have a good IV of is Vaporeon. Wow. I te- I usually have Flareon when I have good IVs. And surprisingly, I was surprised that I got Jolteon during the perfect IVs. I was thinking, oh my gosh, it's going to be Flareon again. <laughs> but go- Yeah, I- me too. I always get Flareon, annoyingly so. But it's, it's good. It's good. Yeah, it's good. It's good. But I wanted like... I have this 93% EV. I'm gonna evolve it right now. I hope it's a Vaporeon. I hope it's a Jolteon. But it comes as a, out as a Flareon. It sucks. Yes. And and also, when I do get a good IV, EV, when it's not 15 attack, it tends to be Vaporeon. <laughs> I have a 93% 14, 14, 14 EV. It evolved into a Vaporeon. It and that's sucks. the best IV Vaporeon I got. Well... We'll probably get better chances uh, on Community Day if uh, we can control these evolutions. Where would you be on Community Day? I would be to be announced. <laughs> um, be, la- the last time we spoke, spoke, I said BGC, then Eastwood, I think. Yeah, yeah, I think yeah, I yeah. won't be able to attend the Saturday mm. Community Day. So I might 
if I do attend community day during Saturday, it would be probably be UST or Luneta. But if it's if I won't be able to attend, then I won't be able to attend. Maybe I'll just put a lure again, just like much like on married day. What we'll do on uh, on Sunday day on community day is that uh, we're gonna we're probably gonna stay at at another Airbnb like what we did in Baguio, so we we could uh, access. EV on the two EV day, but two EV community day. So yeah, that's that's nice. I guess. How much is it when you commute from your home to to BGC? It's BGC. gonna be like a hundred plus, I think. Yeah. So Airbnb is a good yeah, idea. Yeah. Airbnb plus we get we get to to hang out after community day. Yeah. It's it's gonna be fun. I was gonna say, why are you taking the Airbnb? Then I realized, oh yeah, oh yeah, I know where you live. I'm not saying because <laughs> because <laughs> no, privacy, because issue, privacy gonna, concerns. It's going to be fun hanging but out. You with you do post post it on your vlog, <laughs> so why am I yeah, yeah. privacy concern? Yeah, yeah, but uh, it's fun hanging out with my Anna uh, no, with friends after community day. Yeah, it's fun. Yeah, plus you get you don't have to uh, be stressed about where you're going to be the next day yeah. and that uh, you'll be late because you'll be already there. I think my problem with... I, I like your idea, but I think I can't do that because I tend to be very tired during community day, so I want to go just go home after mm. and take a very comfortable and familiar bed and not a stranger's bed. So... Uh, so, if you... You're, you're gonna be with friends. Yeah, but... If you're I, just personally, I think I think I I like your idea because on a perfect situation I would like that. Yep. But I know myself better, so I know that true, true, true. I know that I'm not I'm not going to be the best person you would be with when I'm tired. <laughs> so <laughs> I think I would just be sleeping. I would just be lazy after community day. I tend to do that. That's why I really don't play a lot after the day after community day. Mm. The day after. The af- the effects of Zapdos Day, I still haven't played that much after Zapdos Day. <laughs> That's how tired I am during Zapdos Day. Anyway, that's it, man. That's, yeah, that's, that's it. it for the for the show. Is we went too long this time. <laughs> no, I think it's just right. It's just right, but you know, just right, uh, but not. I try to make it as quick less that, uh, less as quick as possible. Yeah. Anyway, uh, that's the show. Uh, follow us on at the Sylf YT. That's the S Y L P H Y T on Twitter, Instagram, and uh, YouTube. You can follow me on at Malcolm Judd, and uh, you can follow me on Twitter and at Ismael BP. That's wrong. Uh, yeah, <laughs> uh, I don't know. Uh, um, it was at wrong. Ismael, okay, but yeah. Twitter at Ismael BP, then um, Facebook at Ismael BP. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, yeah, yeah. That's uh, and also go hub. Yeah, yeah. I've not, I've not written that much recently. Maybe on August. <laughs> yeah. See you Bye. guys. See you guys next week. And remember, EV community. <laughs> <laughs> bye bye.